Hey everybody, I'm back this week and I have another fabulous, cheap and easy embellishment for your scrapbook pages. I think you're gonna like this one um, because you can use any of your pattern paper so you can make it match whatever you want it to match. But I am going to do mine today with a strip of plain white paper. What we were making is a flower or a pinwheel or a circle. I don't really know what you want to call it, but you can use it as a flower. This is the one um, that I'm going to show you real quick. Not all the parts because I've already showed you how to do the ruffle, but this background. Now I started with plain white paper. So here's my plain white paper and my edge punch. And I'm just going to go down the edge all the way, um, which you may not want to watch, it's kind of boring, so I'm going to grab my finished one over here. Ta-da! All the way down, I've got this beautiful Martha Stewart, um, looks kind of like a picket fence, but I use it for lots of things. Now, that's going to give us our, our edge, and all we have to do is, like a fan, go back and forth. Now, the tricky part of this is that it has to be a very small fan fold. The smaller the fan fold, the less bulky the flower is going to be on your page. And so if you make it too thick, you're going to have it um, taking up a lot of space in your uh, space in your album. It'll be really a fat flower. So you want it pretty thin. And that kind of takes a little bit of effort because it's a pain. It's kind of tedious going back and forth. But the end result is so worth it. So you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. I have prepped one already for you. Okay, so here's our scrunched up um, little strip of paper. Now, to make it into our flower, all we're going to do, I'm going to snip off one of the ends here. I've got it turning the wrong way. All I'm going to do is stick some glue under the last fold. Wrap this around and pinch the ends together. Ta-da, done. Okay, so this is what we have now. Um, now you're going to want a backing, so I'm just going to, for me, grab a scrap piece of paper, my circle punch, which is quick and convenient, but you can cut out any, anything you need or want. And I'm going to use glue gun because it's quick. Now it's easier to use another glue because you have more time to adjust it, but it, you have to like hold it and wait so it's a slow process for it to dry. So I'm going to quickly try and do this. Now you're just going to fold it back. I hope you saw that. I just flattened it down and it did that. Just like that. So simple, so awesome. Okay, now to get my beautiful blue color, you will have to watch last week's video. If you've seen it, then you know how to make Glimmer Mist. <clears throat> I'm going to grab, let's do the pink one for this one because I just did this pretty teal one already. So I'm going to give it a quick, I'm, going to, I'm coating it because I want the actual color, and set it aside to dry. It's as simple as that. So once you have your, your little pinwheel flower, it's actually kind of cool on the soak through side too, um, setting that aside. Now you're going to want to create a center. Now you know how to do my ruffles, this is a streamer that I just ruffled around with glue that's a little slower drying than hot glue so that you can actually squish it through. You have to go back and look for the, the um, streamer video. Oh, it's called ruffle, the ruffle video that I did if you really want to know how to do that um, step by step. But then I just put a stamp and I layered my centers, okay? Now that's a pretty fancy one. I'm going to make this for my parents anniversary. I hope they're not, my mom's not watching. It's going to say 31 years of love and this will be on her card but it will come off with a little ribbon to be an ornament that she can hang somewhere. But you can be as simple as this. Stick a button in the middle. Stick some ribbon in the button or use a fancy button, a vintage button. I have a little leaf punch so I stuck some little leaves in there. Um, you can layer your flower centers to give it more dimension. This is just crumpled paper. Here I used 
a butterfly in behind my button. And here I actually used a butterfly as my center. Now you can make them as large or small as you want. Here's a huge one. And you can put them on your page, put stems on them, make them flowers, or use half of one. And if you want to see how I've used um, this technique, I have a page that I have completed that I'll put up on my blog at scraphappycat.blogspot.com. And if you want to see the finished product, um, the card that I'm going to complete with this, again, go to my blog. So have fun. That was a quick tutorial, but it's really easy, and I think you're going to get a lot out of it. So have a blast. See you later.